burning wine. And it all lifted up here for last in dust. What kind of dream? What and kind of dream? Of is the bowl of burning wine. There is a majestic <laughs> entry that he wants Here to make. Here he was. There is a majestic, majestic entry. Burning wine. You see that there is the cause of your past. In Uniben, you slept with 98 girls before you left 400 level. And those spirits of immorality will follow you. They are not so powerful. You know that you have an immorality issue. You focus on it in the place of prayer. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. God, I can't continue like this. You must help me on this matter. You must help me on this matter. You will see that God will strangle immorality. And the appetite for it will dry up. There is no man that is in this place that is not attracted to women. But it's not every man that is in immorality. The ones that have escaped immorality have found how to deal with it in the place of prayer. If not, it's going to be a challenge. It's, in fact, it's an ancestral issue. Our ancestors. In one orthodox church, I saw what their elders wrote. And concerning women... No man has power over them. That is the elder. Aiso Sela Mukuru. The elders, they, they sat down. That's what they wrote. You will handle it in the place. Based on the way you have utilized the flesh before you gave your life to Christ, the devil will develop strongholds along your life. So you need to identify those strongholds because they are likely points of satanic entrance. Identify those strongholds. You, 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 you attend to your life like business. And then you, collide, you erode the strongholds and you break it through prayer. And this, when you are still dealing with sin and breaking the yoke of sin from your life, you don't go on Facebook to preach. You should not be known. Remain in your closet. Be doing home cell, home cell prayer and all those. Nobody should snap you like this. Then you're like this. <laughs> you are still making mistakes. You are still prone to making mistakes at that level. So don't just hide. Keep doing it. A time will come, you'll just discover that those things are no longer an issue. Greed is no longer an issue. I dealt with it. Are you still with me? Now, so if you are still being ruled by sin, it means you did not allow prayer to shape you. There are also some shapings that will come when you submit yourself to the authority of the word of God. When you see a man that is careless, have you seen a man that is loose, careless? Such a man has not yet drank of the fountain of the word of God. Because part of what the word of God will make you become is that it will make you righteously strict to yourself. Make you what? righteously strict. When you see a loose man, you know he has not drank of it. Truth is not in him. You mix with any kind of people. Say, so, oh, preachers with bad, bad, bad identity in the body of Christ, you are there. Here, they are there. We can't say, oh, no, you don't know the word of God. And I'm not saying you are not studying and you are not preaching. I'm saying you do not recognize the authority of the word of God to rule over your life. And these are two different things that you preach. Many people preach about giving. They don't pay tight. And that's why when you see a pastor that is poor, that is destitute, before you, you have compassion on him, investigate his life. So when you find a loose man, it means he has not found the authority that is in the word of God to regulate him. That's why it's like that. He should be righteously strict to himself. He should be mercifully kind towards others. There's kindness flowing out of his vessel. It means he has found the word of God. 
and secretly pure toward God. Not, not, not publicly pure, but secretly pure. There is something he has with God that he doesn't want to lose. Because of that, he lines up. Not somebody trying to make you feel that, okay, we are holiness people. That's flesh and darkness. That person too has not found the word of God. That person. Religion is not the word of God. So we've seen people make a public display of, of holiness. It's filthy. Even in the eyes of men, it's filthy. Before we talk of God. That's not found the word of God. They're using the flesh to attempt to please God. Those are dead works. But when the Lord rules over your heart, if it is true that he rules, ah, his words will constrain you. The one you find in the scriptures and the one the Holy Ghost will speak to you. It will constrain you. When you see a man constrained, people are doing this, but you notice he's not doing it. Something is constraining him. He has found the ministry of the word of God. And those were the two things that the disciples said that they will not give up the ministry of the word of God and prayer to serve table. Because the temptation in that scripture was for them to leave ministration and begin to do administration. Because the checks are coming in, the funds are coming in, you can just be signing checks and releasing stuff because the ministry has grown. And every ministry that grows attempts to make the preacher stop ministration and start administration because there's ease now. So let's do the business part. And so you will find people that used to operate their refineries before. The moment the ministry now becomes big, they drop that. It means they, are, they succumb to the temptation that came with growth. You see, when the number of the disciples multiplied, this was what happened. Are you there? So when you find a man that is loose, he has not found the word of God. He, he, he preaches something that he believes is the word of God. But that word has not yet become an authoritative principle through which God can constrain him. He is false. He is false. His preaching cannot produce what the Bible is saying. Because he himself has not come under the influence of the authority that is in the word of God. I don't argue with scripture. Hello, I hope you've been greatly blessed by this sermon. Watch out for our next post and don't forget to subscribe, share and like our videos. Thank you.